everybody and welcome. Today's project is going to be an adjustable dog collar. I will be using a Biothene adapter for this collar. If you are not familiar with uh, adapter, then I will leave a link below. Whether you're going to use Biothene or leather, you can still use the same instructions. I like Biothene a bit better because of the variety of colors that are available and it's really easy to clean it's very durable and it's waterproof for the cords that I'm going to be using today I am using all 550 Perry cord I have a gray blend cord here that my double cows hitch is hooked up to if you are not familiar with how to do a double cows hitch I'll leave another link below I show you guys how to hook up the double cows hitch to uh, square rings for an adapter or if you are using a quick release buckle I show that as well and if you're not familiar with how to hook it up to your jig I do go over that as well so this gray blend that I have here, that is not the correct name. I will have the name on the screen and I will have the name down below in the description box. I can't pronounce it correctly, so i rather just show you the spelling itself. And I will be calling it gray blend because that is much easier for me to do. So again, I have gray blend for the double cow's hitch. I also have another cord of that gray blend as well as gray graphite and silver and again all the cords are 550 peri cord. The first cord that I'm going to be adding is the other gray blend. And what I want to do here is I'm going to loosen up the two cow's hitches and I'm going to go straight through both of those cow's hitches. I am using a pericord needle. If you don't have one, it's quite all right. You might have to loosen up the cow's hitches a little bit more, but if you melt the top of your cord, you'll make a hard cap which will help push it through. So again I just went from right to left through those cow's hitches and I'm going to pull it to the other side and bring the cord to the middle at the top of my work. For the other three cords what we're going to do is we are going to fold them in half and then we're going to cut them in half. So you just want to cut them directly in half. Okay, so once you've cut them in half, we are going to mix them up and then fuse them together. So the way I'm going to be mixing mine up is I'm going to take my gray and my silver. I'm going to fuse those two together. Then I'm going to take my graphite with my gray and fuse those two together and then I'll take the other graphite with the other silver and I will fuse these two together. The way you're going to fuse them together it's pretty easy. So I'm going to fuse my gray and silver together. What I want to do is I'm just going to melt the tops of the cords, get them nice and hot and melty and then I'm going to stick them together. So I'm going to melt the top. Now I know that there are other ways to do this but I've, I'm not an expert on those ways. I'm still uh, practicing. So this is why I'm doing it this way still. You're going to stick them together. You're going to let this harden. It only takes maybe less than half of a minute to start to hard. All right, I will do the other cords the same exact way. All right, once you're done fusing all your cords together, we can start to add them. And I'm going to be adding the silver and gray fused cord together. And what I want to do is I'm going to uh, just make a loop where or fold it over where your 
uh, middle of the cord is and you're gonna take your cord now I have my silver on my right and my gray on my left and I have this loop and what I want to do is I want to I'm going to move this down. I want to go through this square ring with my loop. So I'm just going to go push it down through that square ring. Now you want to take your loop now and bring it up in between your two elongated cords of your double cow's hitch. So you're going right in between the two double cow's hitches when you're working this cord and you want to take these loose ends and you just want to push them down that loop that you pulled up and then you can tighten it up a little bit you don't have to make it super tight yet and you want to try and keep that fused spot hidden so it'll be towards the back of the uh, cow's hitch that you just made because that's basically what you just did is just made one cow's hitch. The next cord that I'm going to add is the graphite and gray cord and what I'm going to do here is I want to take the graphite end and I'm going to go in between that cow's hitch that we just made with the gray and the silver I'm just gonna go right in between those that cow's hitch just like that and I'm gonna bring the middle or the fused area of the gray and graphite to the top of my work once you have that cord through your cow's hitch Tighten it up and check your measurements. Make sure that nothing moved around and we can start rolling up our cords. If you don't want to bundle up your cords, it's quite alright. I do think it makes the job a little bit easier to do when they're rolled up. So for me, I like to roll up when I'm working with multiple of the same color I like to roll them up in different sizes so this cord right here is my smaller bundles of the gray blend and this is the cord that is coming out of the cows hitches so this is the cord that you actually made your cows hitches with and they're going to be rolled up smaller the larger bundle of gray blend is the cord that went through the cow hitches in the very beginning. So I rolled them up a little bit bigger so I know which one I'm supposed to be grabbing at any time. Then I have the fused cords and this can get confusing. So this is what I like to do. I took the gray and silver cord that I put on first and I made the cow's hitch with, I rolled them up pretty much the same size. Then the cord that we just put through the cow's hitch, I rolled them up and I have some blue rubber bands and that will help me realize that this is the same cord that is going through so when I grab the uh, right one I'm supposed to grab the left one and I have it marked with a blue rubber band. If you do not have colored rubber bands because to be honest with you I only have the blue and the beige colored rubber bands still I have. So um, what you could do, and I use this often, and I'm going to be using it today as well, is a little cheat sheet. You can write down what cord color is connected or fused with. So for my gray cord that I put on first, is fused with the silver cord. And I have a little piece of paper here, and I have it written down that it gray and silver and then I have my graphite cord that I put through just now with the gray cord and I have graphite and gray written down and when 
we get to adding the third strand, I will write down um, those colors as well. And I write them down as what's on my left connected to my right. I hope that can help you guys out a little bit. Like I said, I do use the cheat sheet and I am using the rubber bands also, so um, all that you can do for yourself to make it easier, do it. So to start this project off, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the smaller bundle of the gray blend and you want to go underneath this first cord on your right, right up the middle, over the second cord on your left. So basically you're just going right up the middle and over with the right smaller bundle of the gray blend. Next you're going to take that gray blend that's coming out of your cow's hitch, the smaller bundle, the one on the left, take it underneath the cord that you just worked, right up the middle, and then you'll be going over the second cord. So you go underneath this first cord on your now left, right up the middle, over that second cord. So basically again, you're going right up the middle with the left smaller bundle and over. And then you have like a little triangle here. Next, you're going to take your larger bundle of gray blend on your right side. And you're going to go underneath all of your work, right up the middle, and then down this loop right here that you just made on the right. So go underneath right up the middle and then you have this loop right here go down that loop on your right you're going to take the larger bundle of gray blend on your left now and you're going to go underneath all your work right up the middle and then down this loop on your left side so go underneath right up the middle and then down this loop on your left side Now we're going to add our third cord, and I am going to go with my silver side, and I'm going to go underneath these two elongated cords that are going up and down. You're going to go underneath with your silver to the other side, and you're going to bring the middle to the top of your work. So there's my fused area which helps me know which is the middle and I'm just going to loop these two. So I'm at the middle and I'm just going to take these two cords and I'm going to bring them up and I have a closed pin that helps me out a little bit. If you don't have a clothespin and you're having a hard time getting these two cords to stay up here, you can put something heavy on the cords to the side to help weigh them down to keep them still. Now I'm going to take my gray blue rubber band and I am going to find these two horizontal pieces of gray blend that are in the middle. They're directly in the middle and you can pick up on those a little bit. So I'm going to take my blue rubber band of gray and I'm going to go around those two horizontal cords and I'm going to come straight up the middle and then I'll just drape it down. So take your blue rubber band gray, go around the two horizontal pieces, and 
it came up the middle so you'll be on the left side of your working cord and you're gonna take that down next you're going to find the cord that is connected to your gray that is on your right so for me it's going to be my blue rubber band but it's my graphite cord and I'm going to go over and around these two horizontal pieces and then I'm going to also come straight up the middle let's go over and around straight up the middle now for the silver on the right and the gray on the left what I want to do with these cords is for the silver on the right I want to go to the all the way to the right of my gray cord that I just went around with and I'm gonna look for those two horizontal pieces and you can kind of pick them up a little bit what you're going to do with your silver now is you're going to go over and around and straight up the middle again. Well, you're going to be in between your silver working cord and your gray cord when you bring it up. So take the one on the right and go over and around. And I'm coming up in between the silver and the gray. Pull that up and then you can drape that down. Now you're going to go to the left of your graphite that you just went around with. You're going to take your gray that is on your left side. You're going to go over those two horizontal pieces and you're going to come up in between the gray and the graphite. So take the one on the left and go over and around and come up in between the gray and the graphite and then you can tighten it up once you have that nice and tight we can start the weave again what we're going to do is now we have these cords that we just added this was the third cord that we added so first of all I'm going to write down what is connected to what on what side so I have the silver on the left and the graphite on the right and you can roll these up if you want I'm gonna actually do that so I roll these up a little bit larger than anything and hopefully that will help me know what I'm supposed to grab but I do, like I said, have my cheat sheet and I did write them down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the silver and take that to the left. We're going to take the graphite and we're going to take that to the right. After we've gone to the left and right with the silver and the graphite, you're going to go to the next cords that are right underneath those two. What you're going to do is take those two cords and put them to the top so for me it's going to be the graphite and the gray they're directly in the middle and these two cords are going to go to the top and now we can start the weave so to start I'm going to start off on my right with my gray blend I'm going to go right up the middle and then over take the one on the left and it's going to be my smaller bundle. I'm going to go underneath the cord that I just worked, right up the middle, and then over. And then you have like a little triangle. Now you're going to take your larger bundle of the gray blend. You're going to go underneath all your work, come up the middle, go down this loop on your right side with your right cord. So you're going to go underneath, right up the middle, down this loop, on your right side, take the one on the left now of the larger bundle of gray blend, go underneath, right up the middle, go 
down through this loop that you have right here on your left. So go underneath, right up the middle, and you have this loop right here on your left, go down that loop. Once we get to this part, if you are a little bit confused, the Another way that you can figure out which cords you're supposed to be grabbing is that for me, I want to go to the cord that is all the way to my right, that is coming out of my knotted area. So I want the cord that's coming all the way to the right, the last one on the right, which is going to be my silver. And then I can just go to my cheat sheet and find out that on the other side of my silver on my left should be my gray and that is going to be the cord that is all the way to the left. So I'm going to take the silver on my right side, find those two horizontal pieces again, I'm going to go over and around and I'm going to come straight up the middle. So I'm going to grab my silver on my right side and I'm going to go over and around and bring that cord straight up the middle and then you can drape it down. Take the gray on the left side, it's all the way to the left. You're going to go over and around those two horizontal pieces and then come straight up the middle. So go over and around, straight up the middle and then you can drape it down. The next cords that you're going to be grabbing are the graphite and the silver. So they're the next ones in line. The two that are up in the middle that are going over, we won't touch those this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the graphite on the right. We want to go all the way to the right of your silver cord. Find those two horizontal pieces over in that area. You're going to go over and around and you're going to come up in between the silver and the graphite cord that you're working. So you can go over and around and you come up in between the silver and the graphite that you're working. Treat that one down. Go all the way to the left now of your gray cord. You're going to take your silver on the left side, you're going to go over and around, and you're going to come up in between the gray and the silver cord that you're working. So you're going to go over and around and come up in the middle of the silver and the gray, and then you can tighten it up. Once you got that tightened up, what we're going to do is we're going to take the two cords that are coming out of the very top. You're going to take your graphite, for me it's the graphite to the left and the gray to the right. So I'm just going to bring those two down. And then your cords that are directly underneath them, which are your gray and silver. These two cords, the gray and the silver, are now going to go above and then tighten everything up a little bit more. Once you got these cords to go to the top, we can start again. So I'm going to start off again on my right with my smaller bundle of gray blend and I'm going to go underneath right up that middle and then over take the smaller bundle of gray blend on my right sorry left side go underneath the cord that I just worked right up the middle and then over and then you got your triangle take your larger bundle now of gray blend go underneath all of your work right up the middle and then down this loop on your right side and now take the one on the left go underneath right up the middle and then down this loop on your left side find those two horizontal pieces you can pick up on them again 
you want to go all the way to the right, so it's going to be your graphite cord, and then all the way to the left, which will be your silver cord. Those are the cords that you're going to work first. Take this, the graphite on your right side, go over and around, right up the middle, just go over and around and up the middle. Take the silver on the left side now and go over and around and right up the middle. So go over those two horizontal cords, around and up the middle. Now I have my gray on my right and my uh, graphite on my left and I'm going to work these cords next. So I want to go all the way to the right of my graphite that I just worked and I want to find those two horizontal pieces over there. Now I'm going to take my gray and I'm going to go over and around and I'm going to come up in between the graphite and the gray that I'm working. Just go over and around and right up and be right in between the gray that you're working and the graphite. Take your graphite on your left side, go all the way to the left of your silver cord, and now you're going to go over and around and you're going to come up with the graphite in between the silver and the graphite that you're working. Just go over and around and come up in between the silver and the cord that you're working, and now you can tighten it up. Okay, so once you're at this point and you've tightened everything up, you are just going to repeat those steps again. You're going to take the cords that are coming out of the very top, which are my gray and silver. I'm going to put them to the right and left. I'm going to take the two cords that are directly underneath them, bring them to the top, and I'm just going to start that weave all over again. So I'll just start off again on my right with a smaller bundle of gray blend. I'm going to go right up the middle and then over. Take the one on the left, go underneath the cord that I just worked, right up the middle and then over. Take your larger bundle of gray blend on your right, go underneath your work, right up the middle and then bring it down that loop. Take the one on the left, go underneath, right up the middle and down that loop on the left. For the next cords that we're gonna work, we're gonna go all the way to the right, which is gonna be the gray. Go all the way to the left, which will be the graphite. You're gonna find those two horizontal pieces again and you're going to take your gray that's all the way to the right and you're going to go over and around those two horizontal pieces and come up the middle take the graphite now on the left which is all the way to the left go around those two horizontal pieces and come up the middle now your next cords are going to be your silver on your right and your gray on your left. You're going to go to the all the way to the right of your gray that you just worked. Find those two horizontal pieces. Take your silver on the right, go around those two horizontal pieces and come up in between the silver and the gray cord. Go all the way to the left of the graphite, take your gray on the left, go over and around those two horizontal pieces and come up in between the gray and the graphite and then you can tighten it up. I went a few more weaves down so you can guys can see a bigger portion done but this is what it's starting to look like and 
I am just going to repeat those steps until I get to the end of the collar and once I get to the end I'll show you guys how I do my tie off and what it looks like when I have the Biothene adapter on. Alright, I am at the end of my collar and it's time to weave in the top cords that are cords that are directly coming out of the top part of the collar. The ones that are coming out of the side will cut and burn where they are. So what I want to do is I'm going to look for these cords that are directly coming out of the top. I have it turned around now and these cords are the ones that are coming directly out of the top part of the collar. I'm going to weave those in first. You have a hole in between your two cow's hitches. You're going to stick your graphite and the gray through that hole from front to back. The next cords that are in line are going to be my silver and my graphite. And what I'm going to do with these guys are, you have a gap in between your work and your cow's hitch on both the right and the left. I'm going to be putting my silver through the side on my right and I'll put my graphite that is on my left through that gap on my left side. The next two cords that are in line, what you're going to want to do is I have my gray on my right side and then I have my silver on my left side. What I want to do here is I want to go on the right side of my silver with my gray through that same gap and then I'll take my silver all the way to my left of the graphite that I just put through and I'll go through that same gap but I'll be on the left side. Once we have that taken care of, we can start to cut and melt the sides. So I'm going to start on my side and I am going to cut about a quarter of the way up. I'm going to fray my ends out. I'm going to melt them and then I will squish them down. I'm going to start with the one on the top. And now I'm going to squish that down. Do the same for the one on the bottom. Now I'm going to do the opposite side the same way. Once we've finished with the sides, we can start the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start all the way on my right and I will cut this silver cord a little bit longer. So I cut it just a little bit longer than I did on the sides. I'm going to fray it out. I'm going to melt it and then squish it down. And I'm going to hold the other ones out of the way. And squish that down. I'll go on the other side and do the silver and then I'll go back to this side and I will do the graphite the same way 
and I'll go on this side and do the gray the same way and then the rest of them the exact same way. I'm going to do them one at a time. Okay, once you have them all melted and squashed down, you can attach your adapter and use your collar as is. I like to put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on the ends that I just melted. It's just a little bit of extra security. So I use, whoops, I use clear non-foaming Gorilla Glue and it's waterproof and a little bit goes a long way. I've been doing this since the very beginning and I've never had any complaints from any customers about anything falling apart or coming apart. Like I said, you can use your collar as is. Lots of people do it. I've done it, but I do like to use the Gorilla Glue for just a little bit of added extra security. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit on the ends that I just melted and then I will rub it around with my finger and I'll put it on all the ends that I just melted and like I said it is waterproof so I'm going to let this dry and then once it's dry I will let you guys see what the finished result looks like when I have the bio theme attached